Today, we're going to be learning about things that impact how we breathe. Doctors can measure our ability to breathe with an instrument called a spirometer, shown here. A simple spirometer like this one can measure something called our vital capacity. While you're watching this video, I want you to inhale with all of your might. Now, breathe out as much of the air in your lungs as quickly as you can. The volume of air you just breathed out is called your vital capacity. Picture a two liter bottle of soda. In a normal healthy adult, they would be able to breathe out enough air to fill up two of these bottles. That's a lot of air. Let's make an educated guess called a hypothesis about vital capacity. Which of these two people do you think would have a larger vital capacity? A 33 year old female, as shown on the left, who is nine months pregnant, or a 43 year old male? We can watch these two individuals test their vital capacity using a spirometer. Did you guess that the male would have a larger vital capacity? If so, you were right. He had a vital capacity of 4.5 liters while the pregnant female only had a vital capacity of 3.5 liters. If we think back to our soda example, we can see that the male exhaled a much greater volume of air than the pregnant female. Why was her vital capacity lower? The baby growing inside the female takes up most of her pelvis and abdomen. In fact, the baby takes up so much room that it pushes up against the mom's lungs. This limits the ability of the mom's lungs to expand with each breath. That's why you might see a pregnant woman struggling to catch her breath when she's climbing stairs or doing other forms of exercise. Thank you for watching our video and learning more about how you breathe.